Well, hey everyone, and welcome back. The topic of today's video is hotspots, which explain strange phenomena that we see in the world that we can't really explain through conventional plate tectonics, plate boundaries uh, methods. So what I'm referring to, take for example, the Hawaiian island chain, right? When you look at that, you see it, and it's not really on a plate boundary, yet it's a chain of volcanic islands. So you'd say, well, there's gotta be some sort of tectonic activity or something within the Earth's uh, interior that's going on to create this uh, this chain on the surface. Another example would be Iceland, um, volcanic island, not necessarily on a plate boundary. So we have these examples of things where we have volcanic activity, but it's not necessarily associated with one particular plate boundary. So what does this mean? Well, the theory of hotspots has evolved, and this is a pretty simple idea to grasp. All that it states is that you've got the Earth, right? We'll say that this is uh, the Earth's surface here, and then in the Earth's surface, underneath it, of course, we have the mantle, but that Underneath the Earth's surface, there are certain points where, we'll, where we have constant um, large plumes, uh, mag magma plumes within the mantle that rise and reach the surface. So frequently when you'll see them drawn on diagrams, they look sort of like mushroom clouds rising up. So it could look something like that. You know, maybe, maybe, you know, sort, sort of like a mushroom shape. And over time, it continues to rise and rise until it reaches the surface. And what does this look like? Well, it gets up, it reaches the surface, then it starts to spread out, right? Looks even more like a mushroom there. And when you have all this, this magma that's accumulated at the crust, then eventually some of it breaks through. And that's what we have, that's the beginning of the uh, volcanic island chain. Um, what actually happens first is a flood basalt, which was when you have massive amounts of basaltic magma just covering um, either continental or oceanic land. You'll hear that term used in volcanology frequently. Um, it can be they can be caused by large-scale eruptions as well, but in this case they're just caused by a hot spot. And after this flood basalt occurs, this is pretty much what forms the foundation. It, it opens up the possibility of a volcanic island, right? Because we get huge amounts of magma that just spread out in this area. That opens up for an island to be formed in the middle of, in this case, what would be oceanic crust. So eventually, over time, then we have the formation of a volcanic island, right? So this could be, example, the first Hawaiian island, right? Um, the largest one, the first one that formed... But then over time, think of what happens. As we know, the lithosphere is moving with the tectonic plates. However, the mantle itself, while there's motion within it, it's not moving. It's what causes those plates to move. And since this magma plume is not related to the convection currents that occur within the mantle, as this plate moves to the whatever direction it's going in, let's just call that the west, um, this is going to stay stationary. So over time, we may see that this volcanic island here actually moves in this direction. Let's say this, this volcano is now over here. But what happens to the magma plume? It stays in the same spot. So what we have is this plate's moving, the magma plume is not. So we get the formation of another volcano first a flood basalt sometimes, then the other volcano. And this happens over and over again, which is what creates things like the Hawaiian, uh, the Hawaiian vol volcanic island change, chain. Um, there are plenty of other examples of, the, of these types of hotspots. Um, another notable one for people in the U.S. would be the Yellowstone, uh, y you know, the uh, Yellowstone uh, volcanoes, which are once again, continental United States, completely uh, separate from nearby plate boundaries. So that's a hot spot in a nutshell. That's a very brief explanation of what they are. I'll go into more detail, maybe specifically with the Hawaiian island chain, just because people like to talk about that one so much, um, because there, there is something particularly interesting we can talk about when looking at it. But that's the basics of a hot spot, so hopefully that was informative, otherwise good review. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao. 
because if you think of it, it's sort of like two plates being pushed together. What's going to happen? They're going to, you know, under the stress, they're going to fold upwards.